Day 7. We're in the Cape Verde Islands, and no, we didn't sink. We have made it to port. Uh, there was a small hole in the tanks that saw our drinking water, and, and someone is now fixing it. But I'm glad we stopped here. The islands here are like another world, green, lush, warm and sunny. Not like the concrete jungle we left at home. Unfortunately, we can't stay here for long. <laughs> we are in a race, after all. <laughs> Around the world. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's just time to take a selfie to send back to my friends. <laughs> oh, and I must log on and check my emails. So, there's an email from John who says he hopes our trip is going well and to remind me that as it, part of the challenge I, I have to bring back some, some rare unusual souvenirs. And he wants a recording of some traditional music. Hmm, what could that be? Phil, 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 everything is fixed. Uh, I've filled up with drinking water. It didn't cost much. And the chap who fixed it gave me this CD. Uh, something for us to listen to on the yacht. What is it? Uh, I don't know, just uh, a CD of the local Mourner music. Uh, what does it sound like? He said it's a bit like blues music. Uh, have a listen. That's brilliant, Passepartout. <laughs> what would I do without you? <laughs> Day 10, and I'm out in the Atlantic Ocean. And what a big ocean it is when you, when you look at it from our small yacht, the Mermaid. It is miles and miles of blue and grey water with nothing to see on the horizon. But we've got a good tailwind and we seem to be making good progress. Passepartout is at the wheel, steering our yacht to our next destination, St. Helena. I'm helping out by making tea. Cup of tea, Passepartout? More tea? Uh, okay then. It will help me concentrate. The sea's getting quite rough. Uh, I need your help up here on deck. Attention all shipping. A deep depression is forming in the South Atlantic, moving north. Severe gale force 11 winds are expected with heavy rain. Visibility will be poor. Strong wind, heavy rain. Whoa, sounds nasty. I'm going to have to change direction. Get your waterproof clothes on. We're in for a wet and bumpy ride. The weather's already getting bad. The wind is very strong and the rain is hammering down and stinging our faces. Not my favourite weather. I, I prefer the calm, warm, sunny type, you know. <laughs> but we have no choice. We, we need to find shelter. Passepartout says we should go to some islands at uh, 0 0.3 degrees north, 6.6 .6 degrees east. Where could that be? And will we make it before the storm gets us? This was a dream trip and suddenly it's, it's like a nightmare. Phil, what are you doing? Hold on to that rope. No, don't let go. We'll lose the sail. Okay, okay. It's uh, it's getting very dark. Do you know which way to go? Yes, of course I do. We have a satellite navigation system. According to this, we're not too far from the coast. But I can't see anything. Look, I, I can see the lights of saint Omer. Is that a lighthouse? Is, is, is it a harbour? Yes, yes, I think it is. Uh, I don't know how we're going to land in these stormy seas. Ha! We're just going to hit those rocks. No, look, there's someone on the harbour wall waving their arms. Let's get closer. Is it a mermaid? A mermaid? She has legs. Over here! Quick, throw me the rope! What luck! 
we're on dry land, safe from the storm, and it's it's all thanks to the help of a woman who lives on the island. She's invited us to her house to to dry off and and warm up. But are we in the right place? Thank you so much for helping us. You you saved our boat and our lives. My name is Sophia. I'm happy to have helped. Here you are. Try some papa frito and a cup of hot chocolate. Mmm. Nice. Tastes like banana. That's what they are. Bobo frito is banana fried in coconut oil. Do you like it? Do I like it? It's amazing. Just, just let me get some more. So, mm. so tell me, um, what are you guys doing here? Ugh, we're sailing around the world, but we needed to shelter from the storm. We're heading for Saint Helena. Is that right, Phil? Hmm. What? Oh, oh yes, yes, that's right. Sorry, I was enjoying this delicious hot chocolate. It tastes great too. Oh, it's made with our finest cacao beans. It's what Santomé and Principe is famous for. Cacao beans? That's great because because they are one of the things I I have to collect as part of my challenge. Can I take some with me? Your challenge? <laughs> yes. We're sailing around the world from London back to London in 80 days. Oh, stupid idea, isn't it? Mm, well, well, maybe not. Um, actually, you can have a bag of these beans if you can do me a favour. I'm, uh, I'm sure we can help you. Sophia has told me she was also sailing around the world when she stopped in Saint-Thomé for a rest and ended up falling in love with a man who she then married. But uh, her husband has started being cruel to her and, and she wants to leave the island and go home. But because she's got no money, she wants us to give her a, a lift back to Britain, the long way round. She's an experienced sailor, though, so, so how can we refuse... There's only one problem. We'll, we'll need to work out how she can escape without her husband noticing. This is exciting stuff. Yeah.